we'll have to see if MG Trust does allow that to slide through. Like, we've seen Ember versus Void Spirit. That is a fairly even lane, although, again, you go back to Fearless playing Void Spirit, I think you've got to give a bit of an edge there for MG Trust. Yeah. Well, final banouts now are coming out, Vice. Look like they're just focusing in on the uh, the offlane pickups here for Motivate. Get rid of the Mars. They actually get rid of the Zeus as well, so not completely uh, completely convinced that this is going to be a mid void spirit quite yet. And Vice, their final pickup. They are lacking a mid laner, unless they did want to run the the leaner mid lane. But it is looking somewhat doubtful that they are going to do that, as uh. Well, first it was your camera lagging, John. Now apparently the stream might be lagging because my internet's uh, dropping a bit low. So that's not very good. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah. yeah. It's... Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But uh, it's you know going it back is, up. Right? It looks like it's only going to be uh, a couple seconds, which is kind of nice. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I, I've, I've got to sort these webcam issues. Like, it's so intermittent. Like the last time we were doing this, my webcam was feeding perfectly fine, right? And now for, t for today, for some reason, it's not. So <laughs> it is what it is. You know, Philippine internet. It's cost teams to drop out of tournaments before. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't really know what to expect so, with this uh, no. with the PH internet. So it's fine, no. Jonathan. We forgive you. Don't you worry. Yeah. yeah, it's still vice, man. They've only got a few seconds here to pick up what seems to be a mid missing. I mean, they could put Lena mid. They could also go for that old school Slardar mid as well if they want to get something more team fighty on the it's off. But... To pick. Oh, okay. Assassin. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's a very fast-paced kind of lineup now from Vice Esports. I'll give them that. I, I don't mind what I'm seeing. I, I feel like if the laning stage goes well for them, they do have the potential to just kind of snowball and roll over Motivate Trust. Yeah, it's uh, it's not something we see too often now. Like, we have not seen too much TA, but TA-Drow is a classic combination. Um, with the Slardar up, this does tie into that Melt Your Face kind of lineup. So that quick pace you mentioned going to come in. Um, I'd say the moment they start dropping some momentum here, though, you do get worried. Oops. Like MG Trust has better team fight. There goes my camera, John. So, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, at, at least yours is still there, but it's just laggy. Mine's, uh, mine's gone now, John, but I'm coming back. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> there we are. I'm lonely. There you are. Great. It's lonely being alone, Mike. You know, people have got to see. You know, I, I want to let chat know uh, if you haven't noticed. Isn't Mike more radiant? He he's gotten some <laughs> lights up, so we're all looking fabulous here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how much they're going to notice with these uh, these frame <laughs> drops right now, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It is pretty bad. Like I'm trying to watch the stream. I am. I'm kind of just roboting out. Like I'm from Cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm as buggy as a cyberpunk oh, scene we, right now. We might need to do a, a restart on the stream, honestly, judging by uh, by what's going on right now. <laughs> Hopefully not. And MG Trust now, digging into that reserve time. Do they want to just hit the one, one second reserve time left just to beat out Vice? Show them, yeah, we know what we want. We just want to tick it down. Come on. Do it. Look at that. Ten seconds, Mike. Eight. Oh, no, they didn't they didn't play chicken. Select your hero. Make the ultimate choice. All right, Pugna is the uh the last pickup. I apologize. I am currently trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my internet as we speak, so you have to excuse me if I'm uh looking all over the place right now. It's uh one of those things. I'm trying to figure it out before we get the game started because, you know, who, who cares if it happens during the draft? I, I, I have a suggestion, Mike. What's it that? It could be those spiders in your router again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever change that? Did you no. actually change it? Oh, no. my God. No. It's it's a spiders. You know what it is. It's the, it, it's the red backs in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stepping in there, man. Yeah. Oh. Uh, even Fearless, you know, he. there are only two things Fearless fears. Interviews... And I'm pretty sure Redbacks would scare the hell out of him as well. But he's not scared enough on the Pugna. This is going to be an interesting one. Like Pugna versus TA mid. Uh, Decrep is going to cause... Can kind of zone out the Pugna though, to be fair. Like there's a little damage. Fearless is not a very tanky... I Oh, I have to point this out as well. You've got the beautiful... The double suck 
coming into play. If if for some reason you have your Io tether your Pugna and you just kind of life drain into your Io for whatever ridiculous reason, you can just have an infinite loop for no for no good reason. Like this is not something you should necessarily do unless you're running a core Io for whatever reason. But it's always fun to see. I, I just love seeing it. The double suck. It's really fun. Yeah. I, I do enjoy it as well, John. Good news, by the way. It looks like my uh, internet decided to stab stabilize now. So that that's good news. I mean, it's as long as it doesn't do it while the game's going on, I couldn't care less. That's the way I see it. <laughs> like, it's you know what it is? You know what it is this time? The spiders hurt us. They're like, yeah. oh, no, no, we're eating too much internet. He's going to come coming. out and rip us out from our home. We can't have that. Give him some internet, boys. Uh, <laughs> give, some, give Vice some internet, because they've got the pause. Don't, don't kid yourself, John. The spiders know that they have full control now. We, are, we, we can't fight back. There's too many of them. They are uh, very poisonous. I'd rather not try to fight them out in the garage. <laughs> they own this house now. I just pay the rent. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of spiders, Mike, how, how have you ever seen a giant huntsman, like a big, big huntsman, maybe the size of, of your have. head before? Yes. Do you, do you do you really just find Jesus? They're terrifyingly big. Like they're not they're spider burrows. I get it, right? Like they're good. They're friendly. They eat the other scary, creepy crawlies, but dang, they're huge. I think I'd I'd, I'd probably run away the moment I'd see something that big. I'll tell you what. Legs. I uh I had an experience when I was when I was very young. I, I maybe was like eight or nine years old, and I remember it was at school. Like we, had, I had to go to a weekend school when I was young, because you, you know, like with mm. uh, because you know, having like a second language, my parents wanted me to learn the my language quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to a like a, a Saturday school, and uh, one day. We were sitting there at like the uh, the assembly or whatever you want to call it, and there was this huge. I mean, it was probably bigger than my hand is now. You know, Ooh. yeah, just on the wall, right on top of the uh, the principal's kind of where the principal was. It was kind of just hanging on the ceiling, and yeah, I, I, I man, that was that was terrifying. That was <laughs> I was so scared that that thing was gonna fall and just kind of drop on his head. You know, Ooh. it didn't. Mike, and you're... Oh, man. And you're telling me people willingly live in Australia? Yeah, I mean, look, we were brought here as prisoners, John, so I wouldn't say willingly, but we do now. <laughs> I mean, we definitely have the choice now, for sure. Yeah. It's not still... like the rest of the world's any better, though. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll tell you that, John. I mean, <laughs> if nature's uh, all we fair. have to worry about, then I'll, I'll take it. I'd, I'd rather that yeah. than the rest of the crap that's going on. That's true. I mean, that, it's it's that and Shoeys, I guess, you've got to worry about. Shoeys are dangerous. know where that shoe's been. Still, I, I'd like to point out what's happened here down bot before we go on. Look at all the trees chopped down here by Savage and Boombell. They just <laughs> went around the tether. They ripped down the trees to ensure that Samael's not going to have that good spot as the lane that zoned them out. And this dual lane of the Gyro Io, it is a bit slower nowadays, but you should still expect Savage to farm up well. There is some good double stuns here from Vice, so we're looking at level 3 being the massive spike. Once they can play with LSA, Crush, and Bash from Deep. Before then, I think Savage, as long as he gets some decent farm, he's going to be happy here. I do like that, though. I mean, you've already pointed it out, but just making sure those trees aren't there is going to make it so Samel can't really... Can't really just, you know, get LSAs from the uh, from the blind spots. The uh, top lane right now, John Zanke, is just going for a dive onto Q. Never mind. Trying to help him out, Q is actually going to survive. And Zenki now in a bit of an awkward position. He might actually just go for a deny on himself, or maybe he just won't, and we'll go back towards the lane. But he is kind of out of regen. Like, he has some tangos, but he is out of any form of mana regen, so I'm not sure whether staying alive like this is really worthwhile for him. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting spot because he still has mana. I think as an undying, your first death has to come after you expend all your mana. So Zenki's just going to try to hold out as long as possible before getting that reset. Uh, so far, he has gotten space out here for Palace to farm. So we're seeing our drow up there. Five to two. Good amount of denies. Never mind. It's a melee hero up against a drow. It's not going to be a fun lane for these first few levels. But Palos does have a bit of a better time here. 
Um, Nevermind's going to have to wait for a bit until Q can favorably trade with the support or with the drought. Expectations altered. So when he gets done, he does go for the uh, the large camp ball, and he actually is going to get away with it by the looks of it. Q should be able to interrupt that in time. In fact, no, he doesn't. He's going to go for the kill attempt onto Zenki. Never mind, also around, but doesn't connect with the Aether Remnant. Zenki trying to run Q, does actually get the first blood. I was going to say, if he did not get the first blood there, I would have said that was a pretty big detriment to this offlane as they had lost a full creep wave to that uh, that large stack, but they do manage to get it. And it's a good little boon here for Nevermind, giving him some EXP. Q as well hits his level 2, yeah, slow ramp up to the level 3 spike, and Zankin's been very disciplined in staying away from EXP range. I think it's at this point with your Drowid tree, you want to get some levels in your Undying, get a value point in the Soul Rip to have some sustain and have some nuking damage here. It's that one lane we haven't really looked at yet either, the uh, the mid lane. Fearless is going to be on that Pugna up against Bob on the TA. Love that name, very simple, just just quick Bob. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, can be a rough lane mm -hmm. for the TA, I, I suppose, right, with this Decrepify, but for now, Bob's having a good old time. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can spam that out, and then you've also got to kind of watch your spacing. When you go in to get that Decrep off, Bob can play around with his side blades up at level two now so the level four level four spike is pretty nice for the ta and you can just see that those bounces if fearless is missteps one bit it's gonna melt really big so it's got to be a bit cautious uh good start so far and just a bit of a fun fact mike like back when we were casting the nationals bob had a bit of a nickname it was bob the building <laughs> really yeah did he, he did build you... up wins jeez <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's kind of clever, I suppose. All mm. right. Well, bot lane Savage goes down on the gyrocopter, which is very unexpected, I must say. Zamal, he's going to go down. He just denies himself off that tier 2 tower, and Boom Bell was trying to come in to snipe the kill, but couldn't quite get there. Well, top lane, looks like they were trying to make a chase onto Zenki. He does manage to walk away and self himself up on the Undying. Overall, we are going to sit at a 2-1 to one now. In the favor of Motivate Trust. Uh, again, I, I was quite shocked that Savage did end up dying there on the uh, on the Gyrocopter. Perhaps just overextending a little bit too far. It is a power spike, dude. It's the stuns. Look at this. Dual stun does hurt, and Boomba also going to die. I'd say with the IO, I'm a bit more like... It's a bit more expected for the eye to die, but now Savage might go down again. They have plenty of Disable here. Another Bash to come out, but Savage will just keep going with oh. the Rocket Barrage. Now the Cookie out, but the LSA going to land again with another oh. stun out from Enryu, and he just gets the kill. He's not going to mind dying for that. Q does at least clean up the slaughter, but it's just not worth it for Motivate. No, definitely not. Just aggressive movement out for the Cookie. Getting MG Trust needs to respect the power output of Vice in the bot lane. Just they've, they've got their level spikes. Level 4 on Alina, level 4 on Slardar. You are not trading favorably. They are fairly tanky. The IO can only sustain you so much there. And you are missing out. Now that does allow Q to walk down for the power rune, but it's on the opposite side. And it looks like Bob just has easy access to it. Again, just helping him to widen this gap in the lane. 35 to 6 compared to our Pugnus 25 to 6. It has started to fall behind here for Fearless. Yeah, Bob would have, uh, well, I'd rather Fearless would have loved that power rune, but he does not get to have it. Fearless, who doesn't really need it, does take it for himself, and I suppose the arcane is kind of nice. Just spamming out refra refractions over and over again. It's going to be pretty decent for him. Uh, Fearless, he's going to make a bit of a rotation up towards the top lane now, so just trying to get something done in this mid pugna. Run into Zenki, which isn't quite the target he wanted, and while wow, that's happening, apparently bot lane once again, Boom Bill goes down, and now Savage back in a very similar scenario. He might just be dead. The Rocket Barrage comes out. They do not get the kill this time. Savage was one hit away from dying. He will survive in the end and does end up getting a couple kills, but 
Jeez, it's a rough time right now down at this bot lane for the side of Motivate Trust. Yeah, they're, they're bleeding out so much to this dual lane and Vice. If they get this good start going, they can really get control, even up top. Uh, never mind. Just gonna drop Palos, able to pick up a kill on this Drow Ranger. I find it easy to respect. You know, I don't want to be insulting here to Vice, but this is not what I was expecting. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, not what I expected as well. Like, they are playing really well in this early game. They are finding these kills. They're getting control. They have given Palos a ton of space up top. They've given their TA Bob a ton of space as well. Top of the last hit board on two of these big cores. And if MG Trust does not find an answer, and quite frankly, their heroes are just not fit to rotate all too well. If they don't get a grip on it now, they're just going to fall apart later on. Oh, mid lane Fearless does at least get a, a Tombstone forced out there by Zenki. That's uh, something, I, I suppose, for Motivate. Thing is, he's not going to be able to go in and take the Tombstone. He's not even bothering to try. I suppose Zenki is still around the area and can just heal it up anyway. So it could be slightly dangerous or maybe just a bit of a waste of time here for, for Fearless to go for that. Savage, meanwhile, just has ended up rotating to the jungle now. He's just not bothering with the laning anymore. So I don't really blame him for either, because the lane is just very, very difficult to uh, to sustain himself in, even with the IO. He's probably just better off farming those neutral items straight off the bat on this gyrocopter. But I've got to say, John, with this Vice draft, with the way things are going, they are set to have a very good game. I mean, Drow TA, you just snowball so fast if you win out these lanes like this. All top three net worths right now are all Vice Esports heroes. Just insane. Yeah. They've got the right mindset as well. They dragged Palace down bot. They're going to go for this tier one tower trade that we tend to see around this time. And it looks like no contestion down bot. They are giving up their top tier one. But uh, with Fearless around, like, yeah, the um, Nether Blast does do some good work. I'd say a Drow down bot with a good amount of creeps is equally as fast. So you're not going to get the tower advantage here for MG Trust. What they need to focus on is just buy the space out for Savage, ensure that the investment pays off. Savage is saving up for the Manta style rush into the Axe. So it's going to be a while longer until the Gyrocopter is ready. And they haven't contested any stacks coming out from Vice. Look at Bob, he's level 10 already. And the Blink is going to be out relatively quick for a TA into that Desolator timing. That's about the point where Vice will really start to hunt for some heads. Well, MG Trust, they're trying to desperately get some towers pushed down now. And Fearless, he does push down the uh, the tier 1 top tower, so it does at least trade that. Did also see in the mid lane, Savage was there with Boombell, just trying to get some damage out onto the mid tier 1. Mind you, as the level 6 gyrocopter, there's not much damage you can pump out, but it was definitely trying. Thing is, the timings are going to be there soon for Vice, as you do have the blink coming out now on that TA, and Bob's going to be very happy about that. We'll see how they do kind of deal with the pressure that is about to be applied from Vice Esports. I'll that. Uh, you might just wait out the deaths later on, Bob, but as soon as the deaths is up with that blink, you just go. There's uh, no real reason to sit back and relax after that. Yeah, there's just no pressure. Again, MG Trust, they went for this draft that can play a bit fast. The issue is... There's nothing on Fearless. He has Arc Boots, he's saving up for his Aether Lens, that's it for now. You've got the Urn up and Nevermind and nothing else, so they need to start finding these pickoffs. They do smoke up. That they do. To the Die Triangle, that'll be a great target. Palos getting caught out and now the Mortimus Kisses are to fly in. Ryu is going to try and run in and set up something here. Samal does get a double LSA off. Getting one, Fearless goes down, Q does also die, never mind, they're trying to chase down Zanki on the Undying, but he's a tanky tanky boy, and that just means that Bob and Enry can just get back to work, on to Nevermind. They will find a third. Although they did get the Drow Ranger, which is going to feel nice for the side of Motivate Trust, it just doesn't feel worthwhile to lose three heroes like that. It's really not worthwhile. Vice seeing that kind of win, knowing that relocate and call down is gone, goes straight to mid and they can just melt these towers. That's one upside here. No big cooldowns in Savage. Oh, Savage! 
So much damage coming out from Bob. The tips come out now from Vice. They are really giving it to Motivate. Wow. Vice Esports. I mean, I know Motivate's been struggling ever since the, uh, the changes to the team, but... Uh, Vice are doing a great job this game. You've got to give it to them. They definitely are. They, they, they know their timings. They've hit those timings hard. Um, they're just hitting like trucks. They have no cooldowns to wait for. This is just the big difference. Right? Whereas you have to wait for call down, you have to wait for relocate, kisses out here for MG Trust. Vice has nothing to wait for. They just have LSA, they've got Slytherin Crush, maybe Laguna for burst, but quite frankly, with the mat with the physical damage they're pumping out here, it doesn't feel necessary. So Vice are just playing perfectly. They're gonna keep those timings up. As long as they don't drop heroes one by one. I, I, they've got a pretty good run here to start taking over this map. MG Trust still needs so much more time to cook. Savage desperately needs more than just this Yasha. The Manta into Ags is a start, but it's the issue with Gyrocopter. Like, it's a start once you have those items. You're not going to be the core to overtake just yet until you see more things flying out from that hero. Yeah, I mean, on the bright side, considering the game that Savage has been having so far, he's actually kept up in farm quite nicely, but it's like you said, he does need a lot more farm than your average kind of position one to be that effective. It's it's almost like a Medusa, right? You, you just need so many items to be effective on this hero. And once you have those items, you you tend to be kind of... not unbeatable, but you tend to be very hard to deal with. But until then, you're kind of just useless. Whereas you look Sorry. at Vice's draft, they don't really have that problem. They uh, they could just run at you in the mid game, basically right now. In yeah. fact, they are. Never mind. He has Astral Step charges, he should be okay. But they're going to get started on that bot tier 2 tower now. Palos, understanding his strengths in the Drow Ranger, can just start hitting away at towers, and there's just not much that. Motivate can do about it. No, um, they, they're not even setting up for the defense. They know they've got to give these objectives. So tier two bot, the four to 20 minute mark, that's going to open out the outpost for them to take as well. And this is just not a good time now for MG Trust. The Desolator's flying out here for Bob. They smoke up on Vice's side and they, they're just going to start hunting again. I mean, why the hell not? You, you don't want to give them the time to be able to catch up and farm. If you are Vice Esports, you just want to get this uh, this advantage just bigger and bigger for yourself. They do start running up towards the north of the map where Enryu will get some corrosive haze off onto Q. Is Q is just trying to farm up an Aghanim Scepter right now on the Snapfire. Like they are just trying to buy more time for Savage in this Radiant Triangle. But you look at Bob, he's got the Deso up, he just wants to go. And the absolute timing for that TA is going to be just getting the BKB straight after. It, it kind of makes it so he's... Not unbeatable, but just extremely hard to deal with, like... With, especially with Motivate's draft, they don't really have any way of locking down the TA once the BKB's there. No, they, they really don't. Nothing to pierce through that control. Suddenly Fearless becomes a non-factor, and they are getting some good chase out at least. Yeah, they will catch out the Lena. They sort of pick up on the pause 4, but now Fearless is going to be chased down by Palos. They'll cookie Fearless away. He's trying to TP out. The stun will not make it in time. Nice TP out there from Fearless. Uh, everyone else will do the exact same on the side of Motivate Trust. Just not wanting a bar of Vice Esports right now. They've got to be a bit more patient. Yeah. They are getting some space out for Savage, as we've pointed out multiple times. Slowly building up there. I think the blink coming out here for Fearless is also going to enable the Pugna to actually make some plays, which is, again, something they do lack. Like, beyond the long-range reach of Nevermind, uh, jumping forward, getting the remnant off along with the kisses, they have no real follow-up. So having this Pugna around as well to lend a hand, get some good decreps off, get some good life drains off, it's going to be massively helpful for MG Trust and finding some momentum. Vice is not going to be too scared though, as again, they've got massive spikes still coming out. And Ryu, Blink is still about 600 off, and once you've got that on the Slardar, 
Well, it just piles on the problems you have. Like blink on TA to come in, gap posing as well in Slaughter. Just makes it so much harder to run away from Vice when they just want to run straight at you. That it will. Keeping all lanes pushed out here, Vice Esports. Maintaining that 4k net worth lead. Props to Savage. He is still keeping up, John. He's just in the third place spot on that net worth graph right now. Does have the Manta up, and that's going to allow him to get a bit more efficiency with his farm going, and as well as that, just a bit more survivability. When these gank attempts do come out, they can hold out long enough. They probably will outscale the side of Vice Esports with this gyrocopter. By outscale, I mean you might need to buy Divine Rapier later on. Uh, just kind of dish out way more damage than they can deal with. Yeah, um, I think the other power spikes for MG Trust to watch out for are buildups in Nevermind. Like, ideally, you'd want a good Ags timing on this Void Spirit, but Nevermind still struggling to find the Yules. At the least, once you have the Yules, you've got additional control that you can play around with the Yules Remnant. Start to set up for your team, start to open up uh, some opportunities for MG Trust. Vice is still going to be a hard target to pin down, especially since the BKB that we've been talking about for a while for Bob is just a recipe away. So even if you get that Yules timing, it's not going to be as good. They do smoke up though, Vice. They understand that they've got this lead, they've got damage. They can easily go for an objective or a kill, but it looks like they might just go Roche. I don't, I don't blame them. With the Desolator, it does become very easy, but for now, the, Bob is just holding out. He does eventually go for the Meld Strike. It seems like they are aware or motivated that this is happening. And, uh, well, they don't really have anything to do with it, though. One of his kisses do come in, but they are way too late. They just weren't set up for this, Motivate. In fact, now, Eric Slaughter was trying to jump in. Enryu, he did miss out on the on the stun. So with this Aegis in hand, just looking to finish off that BKB for Bob. And Vice will probably just want to keep going. Yeah, there's just nothing stopping them. Um, they do kind of hold out. They're trying to get these lanes in control first. This might be a bit of an issue. They are split savage. Oh, good start now from Enryu. Now with the Laguna coming out, they do kill off Boombell, and there goes Felix as well. He, I don't know what Felix Ooh, was trying to get LSA. done there. Now the LSA gets landed onto Savage's head, and he's also going to die. And Vice, they just clean up three of them. Ooh, man, Samael. It, it's like he had radar. That's a blind LSA in the right spot. Mentioned to catch out Savage, and they just clean up. Uh, they're going to find an objective from this as well. Start to take over that triangle. MG Trust's patience has sort of paid off. Q does have Ags. My big issue here, Mike, is that who do you actually gobble up and spit out? Do you just toss the Void Spirit? They only have single target control as follow-up, and it's really just hard to pin down a lineup as mobile as Vice with only the prospect of holding one hero down every time. I agree with that sentiment, John. It's, uh, it's a very tough time right now. That is uh, one thing I can guarantee. It's, it's very, very tough for Motivate. Uh, there goes your tier 2 top tower. They do glyph it up, so it will survive for now. I, I hear it relocate. We are going down to the bot lane. So they just want to try and get some split pushing done. But that will allow Vice to just go back for that tier 2 top and finish that off. And... They're not done. They know how strong they are. So they're going to go for the T3 top tower. With this Aegis in hand, there's just not really much the way to stop them. But they're going to try and start a team fight here. Savage will get stunned up straight off the bat. Vice, are they going to commit? It looks like they will not. They may just wait for a better time. I mean, they've got time to reset. Did you smoke up, though? 
Not okay. much waiting here. No, not at all. They go for a stun, and now the Meld Strike is out, but the Decrepify from Fearless will save the life of the Void Spirit. Maybe not for long, though. Never mind. Is still low, does eventually get away. But that tier 3 tower cannot run away, and it is eventually just going to drop. They do at least get the Tombstone Gold onto Savage. Looks like that might just be enough that the Gobbler play is there. Never mind landing on to Zenki, but it may cost him his life. Laguna oh. going to be juked out by the Yule Scepter. Nice little juke there. Zenki actually bought back on the Undying. Looks like they want to try and go back in here with that buyback. And they do. Bob is going to jump in straight onto Boombo. Gets one and now Savage. Also just disappears in the blink of an eye. In fact, Enryu jumping in for more. Goes after Q on the Snapfire. They get rid of the Nether Ward. The heals are coming in, but it's just not enough from Fearless. Oh, what a mess here for Motivate Trust. This is, uh... It just doesn't look good, John. It doesn't. Vice, they've got the confidence. They're running around. Bob... Definitely this game, Mike, is Bob the Builder. Uh, well, not Builder, he's tearing stuff apart. You're not a Builder, Bob, you're Bob the Wrecker. He's tearing apart the base of MG Trust and Vice. They've still got Aegis. Uh, it's not going to be long for life, though, about 40 seconds. But they've got this leeway to come in, and MG Trust, with all the pharma and Savage, again, not enough. This draft is starting to fall a bit flat here. And it is. It's... Has Bob got a nullifier on the way? I believe he does. He's got a Sacred Relic queued up. He, he probably has the uh, the Helm already on the Courier, and he is just almost 1k away from having the full Nullifier up. We're only 24 minutes into the game, John. But uh, he is well <laughs> and truly skyrocketed in terms of farm, and apparently you can't really give Bob TA. He, uh, I mean, it could just be the hero, but he's playing it very well. And once that Nullifier is up, suddenly this... These decrepifies, they don't really matter anymore. No, it's the big factor that's keeping MG Trust around. At least not losing their entire lineup. That's been the key fact that the decrap from Fearless has been doing a lot of work. Um, Vice right now, they did lose the Aegis by Expiry, so they could opt to just wait. But another smoke coming out. They're out for blood. That they are. Aghanim Scepter being bought up on Savage, but Ooh. the stun is going to be there. Savage, he does take it, but we'll turn back around now on to Enryu, and they do get the slaughter. A bit too excited there on the slaughter, and now Zenki will also go down. They'll give a double kill away to Savage. Never mind. Moving forward with the Astral Step, we'll get gusted up, but they would love to pick off Palos. Fearless does get the Decrepifier off, and Palos, he needs some help. Looks like Bob is going to jump in after Fearless, but there's your Decrepify, saving the day again. Never mind, trying to just assimilate away. Boom Bill copying a lot of damage there with the Meld Strike. Might just go down and does, Oof. but they do at least kill off Samal. Bob, still wanting to go, but these Decrepifies are being quite a nuisance here for this TA. Is now even Palos, still being chased down by Nevermind. Mortimer's Kisses aren't going to reach. The Drow is going to be able to run, but no, the Decrepify is out from Fearless now. They do finally kill off the Drow Ranger. It took them a while. It was a very big chase, but they do get something for their trouble here, Motivate. Yeah, and Vice uh, kind of streamed to that, into that fight one by one, although. Oh, cute. Being caught out. Never mind. Almost dies as well. Like, Henry is not done. He found out Savage. He's not going to go for uh, the stun attempt. Seem to just want to kind of calm down a little bit and not throw this game away as they are in just such a lead right now. And as I say that, Bob has bought out the Nullifier and also has found a DD rune. So Ooh. maybe it is time to turn back around and go back for that high ground. Yeah, uh, no issues here. Bob just getting everything he wants on demand, as you tend to see when you're ahead. MG Trust, I mean, we've seen them kind of turn around, but Vice just needs to clean up their initiation. If if they give opportunities to MG Trust, that's when you start losing it. So they have got to be cautious oh, about that. Stun out, well. Decrepify, going to save the day. Bob not using the, null the Nullifier. Not bothering onto Nevermind. It seems that that's not the target he wants. 
Seemed like an easy kill to take, but he doesn't bother. Hmm. Motivate, they're not out so. of this game yet. I mean, Vice does have to be a bit cautious about throwing this game away. They're, they're playing really safe here in Vice. They might just wait for the next rush, which we do, do just find out. It's a minute and a half away. So not the fastest, but not the longest. That's going to be the next safe objective for them. The high ground from MG Trust is pretty good. I mean, Savage is at the point where he can sort of just rip and tear. Uh, for the most part, standing up there, getting the call down, spam off, getting the flak cannon off. He, he can just hold the high ground for a pretty good time as long as he doesn't overextend. So that's something Vice is just really cautious about, giving Savage a huge bounce back in. Um... I'd say perhaps if the Daedalus comes out first, that could be good. Even just the Crystalis to replace the Wand. But again, Vice, they understand this position they're in. They're 10k up, which is a big amount, but not big enough that you can just run willy-nilly. You know, it's not, it's not an overwhelming lead. Savage has caught up to number two in that port at 16k. And that's actually a pretty good sign, considering how bad the start was for MG Trust. Savage is still finding some considerable farm is still needing a lot more, which we've talked about with the uh, gyrocopter, but he has managed to clear some items out to buy his two ultimate orbs, so Scotty not too far out, and that could be, again, another big boon here for Savage once he has that item up. Oh. They're not going to take their time. And Roshan's up in 10 seconds. That might be the, uh, the time to go here for, uh, for Vice or Maybe they just go high ground instead. Never mind. Getting stunned up here by Enryu. And there's your nullifier out Ooh. for Bob. Tombstone going to be dropped. Fearless. He'll be in trouble, but he does manage to blink away. But they don't mind. They'll go after that tier 3 tower once again. Savage is going to try and fight back. Massive gobbler play out with the Mortimus Kisses as well. Zanki is going to die. Bob. He's just going to walk away with his team. They don't want to fight without the Undying, apparently. Let's say, for Vice, you just go back to the Roshan now. Just check the pit and see if it's available. In fact, Enryu already did. Oh, man. This is uh, getting really complicated for MG Trust. It's going to be a big pickup for Vice. Should make them feel safer going into the high ground. Aegis Cheese for the taking. That rush just does not last long with all the Mayan's armor here. Bob gets to pick up his second life. Cheese is going to be up and available as well. So they've got options to play with. And MG Trust with Kisses down. The defense is just so hard to take. They've got to be a lot more cautious when Vice does throw their, does start throwing their bodies up to the high ground. Here they go again. Tier 3 tower just melts so darn quick. Oh, look at that. Bob just jumps straight in after Fearless. Can't quite finish him yet, but does eventually get him. Bob, with that Aegis, still going to be feeling quite safe. He might even turn around onto Savage. Gobble up is there, though. Perfectly timed after that BKB, what? but never mind. He's just going to die now. Savage trying to fight back with Bob. is just standing there and just man-fighting this gyrocopter. He will finally die, but they will lose Savage. They'll lose Boom Bill. And there's no buybacks. I believe oh, the game may be over. Uh, they, they should know. No, they don't. They don't have a clue. They're going to go for the bot set of racks first, playing it safe. But th this is not going to last long. This is just a very slight diversion. Look at how fast these towers melt. We forgot to even mention Bob has an orb of destruction. So uh, of course he does. It, it, of course, you're ahead. You can keep getting ahead. Mega creeps up. And they're going to start hammering away. No Aegis, so Bob might be a bit cautious, but it's not going to be that long. Like, half a minute for Savage, it's way too long of a respawn. Yeah, there's not enough time to defend this. They've got the game in the bag. They're going to try, oh. gobble up play into the TA, but Enryu is there, taking care of Fearless, and Bob will just rip, never mind, to shreds. Uh, yeah, they, they just can't. GG's called, Bob. Really pulling off a, a pretty great performance here with the rest of his team. And Vice Esports. I mean, it, before this game, I really expected nothing. But mm. 
They look like a great team. Yep, they, they step up to the plate. They manage to knock one out of the park. MG Trust just looking a bit lost. They fall back to this Iowa Gyrocopter draft. It really just doesn't get off to running start. Uh, Bob gets an amazing time down mid. I want to point out as well, Samael and Enryu just had an amazing time in their off lane. The, the Lena Slaughter combo, the double stuns just made it hellish for Savage. It was from that start where Savage just couldn't find good space in his bot lane. It fell apart from then. And that just goes back to Enryu and Samuel just getting that space out. So if Vice can keep that play style in mind as they go into the second game, MG Trust are going to have to work extra hard to find this win. Again, you can't underestimate any team, even if they're at the bottom right now. There's a lot of opportunities to move up here. That there is. Now, John, we might have to restart the stream. Uh, I did notice that it my internet started playing up again right at the end. So... I mean, we've only got one game left for the night, but you know what? We may as well just try to get a reset going so we don't have to deal with the FPS drops. So it is MLP Dota and it is John X Fire. We'll be back in approximately 10 minutes for that final game of the night. If the stream does cut off, don't panic. We're, we're going to be back for that final game. Might just have to do a quick restart to, to try and fix up these issues. Until then, though, we'll be right back.